name's Ali Cassetti. I'm the owner of Yours Real Estate Team here in Solano County. I'm here with Mary today. She's the owner of Atma Holistic Day Spa. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Mary Sullivan. I own Atma Holistic Day Spa in the downtown Vacaville area. Awesome. Mary, thank you so much for being here today. We are so excited to learn about your business and to just dive in a little bit to what you do. So we have a team, a big team here of therapist, massage therapists, uh, estheticians, and we have a reflexologist, and we are all about healing. So we have been observing all the pandemic um, protocols so that we can bring pure healing to this town as soon as we are able to in compliance. That's so sweet. Honestly, we do need healing right now. We probably need it now more than ever um, to just go out, relax a little bit, get a massage, get a facial. So I remember chatting. I know we tried to do this before. Nobody knows this, um, but the connection was so bad. We had to redo it. And you had told me a little bit about the services that you do. You have a ton of services that you offer. We do. Yes. We, we specialize, we customize our the, our massages to the individual and our facials to the individual. So we offer lymphatic drainage, which is really good for cancer survivors or people post-surgery. We offer relaxing massages. We offer deep tissue massages, neuromuscular, gua sha, cupping, a whole bunch of other stuff that's on our website. We also, in skincare, we offer anti-aging facials. We have teen facials, we have back facials, we have front facials, <laughs> waxing. Um, we have one therapist that does manscaping and she's awesome at it. We, I brought one of our products. We carry the image product here and we sell all kinds of things through our spa. Mostly I take things on consignment and um, I just wanted to show you this one thing. It's beautiful. It's a amethyst rock that we sell. So we have rocks here and skincare, etc. That's amazing. How long have you guys been in business? We, well, I've personally been a massage therapist since 2002 and I, I was a sole practitioner for a long time and I opened this business in 2012. So it's been eight years now. Wow. Congratulations. What caused you to make that shift? I was so booked out. I booked out for like six weeks in advance and I was like, you know what? I hate sending these clients to other places. So if I just gather more therapists, maybe they will just come under one roof. And it's been working for eight years. Wow. That's amazing. I don't know a lot of massage therapists that can say that. Like I was just so busy. I had to send my people away and I had to open a business. <laughs> That really does say a lot about who you are and what you do. So, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> of course, of course. And then I know that we don't have all the answers right now um, as far as reopening and what that looks like. But I know that you've been keeping up on it. And what what do you think about just kind of what's going on and having to pivot through this? And what do you do? You have any thoughts around what your your best practices are going to be or what that's going to look like for you? Well, I've been in a lot of meetings with all the massage therapists in town. We have a great group of massage therapists in this whole town, by the way. And um, I, we are all discussing amongst us our best options. And we already have high standards of cleanliness, but we are going to go further by, we're probably going to require face mask wearing, glove wearing, changing our aprons in between each client, uh, I believe that I'm going to do temperature checks when people come in just for the therapists and for the clients just to reassure everybody involved. Um, the waiting room is probably going to be, which is behind me right now, but it's probably going to be not used because uh, we'll have like clients wait in their car and then we'll text them when their room is ready just to make sure that less contact. We're going to follow that six foot uh, distancing. In therapy though, of course, that's impossible. I saw all those memes with the long arm <laughs> massages. We're not going to do that. We're just going to make sure everyone is well in the service so that we can do the very best service we could do. And we're, we have a great clientele. Like I said, we're all going to work together to make this work. 
Yeah, definitely. Because I know a lot of just the people that I know and moms out there in general are like, I need a massage right now so badly. <laughs> moms have turned into teachers. They've turned into everything under the sun. And I mean, I really, I really believe that people need you right now and the healing and all of it. So we are so excited to have your doors open again and get back into business. Uh, yeah, of course. Is there anything that you want Solano County to know, either about you, your business, or just in general? Well, I want everybody to know that we're gonna get through this and we're gonna get through this together. And I'm a hometown girl of Vacaville, so I, sorry. I'm sorry, let me start. Can it's you get it out out? <laughs> you get it? Anyway, I'm a hometown girl. I grew up here in Vacaville. I have been all about this town growing and building it for as long as I could. I'm sorry. It's okay. Hold on one second. No, I'm not. I'm, I gotta call you back. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Let's try this one more time, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. I am a hometown girl from Vacaville, and I love Vacaville, and I love Solano County, and I am here for, for the people, whatever it needs. I just want us to heal as a group. That's amazing, and yeah, like I was saying, we need you now more than ever, so super appreciate your time today. Really appreciate you sticking this through, even raising the bar even higher than it was already raised to make sure that your customers are safe and getting people back through the door. I mean, it's really important to all of us to see you through on the other side, so thank you for everything that you're doing. We love our clients. We, love, we truly love here, so. Awesome. Well, Mary, please let us know if there's anything that we can do for you, but we're super excited to see your doors open again. And thank you again for your time today. Thank you.